really, I want to hear your, your thoughts about how we find or find the trustworthy measured voices on climate change. Well, I think it goes right back to understanding ourselves, you know, and all of us respond to something that comes from somebody's heart. Our heart responds. It, it cannot respond. It just does. It bypasses all the programming that we've had in our education, in our acculturation, in our advertisements, in the way we are just hounded uh, by uh, our society to be different, to buy more, to do this. And um, all those things are um, ignored by the heart. <laughs> the heart doesn't, uh, doesn't speak that language. And so I, I feel like the reason I use the word regeneration or you as a title of the book and so forth um, is regeneration is the default mode of life, first of all. All 30 to 40 trillion cells in your body, Linda, right this second are regenerating. There's 400 million activities going on in every cell, every second, all right? In every cell, you multiply that times 40 trillion and you have more things going on in your body every nanosecond than there are stars in the universe, okay? Darwin actually predicted that. And so that's us. We are a walking, talking, regenerative, piece of protoplasm. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's why you can hear me as I where I can see you. That's why we can talk. All of us are the same that way. So we are innately regenerative. Okay, next, you know, every time we care for something, ourselves in the morning, take a shower, brush our teeth, whatever, you know, our children, our elders, our pets, you know, our community, our friends, our family, when we pray at church or a synagogue or a temple, uh, what do we, all that caring that we evince and show and manifest on a daily basis is regeneration. That is regeneration. We're addressing ourselves to life itself and, and so forth. So in everything you see outside, everything that walks and talks and buzzes and grows and is green and this and that and swims, you know, is, regenerating all right that's what it's doing this is the default mode of life so when we think of regeneration it's innate to us as opposed to you know we have to tackle climate change give me a break you know what does that mean you know i mean it's like oh what huh and it just is confusing you know and of course people know about solar and evs and recycling and they understand that most people do but still it's so abstract and so when we take that language, you know, and we use war and sports metaphors to talk about something that is absolutely scientifically incorrect, which is that we're going to tackle climate change. First of all, you're othering it as if climate change is out there somewhere and you can find it and you could go tackle it, son of a bitch, you know, come on. Well, with that language is just so bizarre. The second thing about that is that we can do anything about climate change, you know, by going at it. And the thing is, the climate is supposed to change. If it, it's if it didn't, we would have seasons and water and glaciers and rivers and fish and hummingbirds and honey and food. And, you know, I mean, the beauty of all the species in the living world is because there's a changing climate. All right. Uh, and so you can't fight tackle combat change. The climate is perfect every second. It's perfect. How could it be otherwise? Nature never makes a mistake. And it's we are causing those changes. And so this is what we have to look at, you know, and it's not about combating and tackling and fighting each other. Not at all. It's upside down and backwards. It's not about othering other people or cultures or races or genders or sexual preferences or religions. It's not about othering. That's the cause. Othering the world, seeing oneself or one's culture, or one's tribe or one's class or whatever 
as better and different than other is the cause of global warming. So we can't use that language to address it. And that's why regeneration is such an important word and concept uh, because it has such big arms, you know, it's like it holds everything. It is compassionate. It's kind. It happens anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well go with the flow because if not, you're dying. And uh, but even life and death itself is part of regeneration, you know, and so forth. So um, when we talk about regeneration, it's to, it's, we're coming home to this heart. We're coming home, you know, instead of being sort of bedeviled or confused or stressed by a set of operating instructions, do this and do this and do this and do this and make sure you do that, don't do that and so forth. Not that those things are incorrect in their intent and purpose, but the fact is it, we need to come from source and source is right here, our heart, our caring for our, each other, the future, others, our pets, whatever it is, you know, all the things that it is and so forth. That is where the impetus to reverse global warming comes from and it can't come from any place else.